Hey, how are you guys doing today? It's MC Health Life Coach here. I am bringing to you a video about omega-3s today because I find them super helpful and beneficial to my life. So I just want to share uh, some research that I have found that is pretty positive. And if you are interested in taking it on your own and maybe taking some or eating more fish or doing anything that's going to help you out, um, I'm glad to help provide some information. So let's just start out with uh, what is an omega-3? They are fatty acids that we must obtain um, from our diet because our body cannot create them on its own. There are three different types. There is ALA, which is mainly found in plants such as chia seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, and flax seeds. Um, ALA is used for energy in the body. Some ALAs, ALAs can be transferred, I mean, or transformed into EPAs as well as DHAs, which are the other two um, omega-3s, but it's very few and far between. Um, the second one, like I mentioned, was EPA, which is found in fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, herring, anchovies, sardines, fish oil, and algae. Um, EPA manages oil production and hydration of the skin, reduces the risk of acne, and reduces premature aging as well. Um, studies indicate that individuals who consume omega-3s on a regular basis are less likely to be depressed. I'm going to take a direct quote from one of my favorite books is The Ultra Mind Solution by Mark Hyman, MD. He says, omega-3s control your gene function, regulating your immune system and improving metabolism. These fats are vital components of cell membranes that cover every one of the 100 trillion cells in your body. Without omega-3 fats, the proper messages cannot be communicated from one cell to another, making it hard for your brain to function efficiently. So brain fog, memory loss, disconnection, depression, things like that. So I just really enjoy that book. Feel free to check it out. <laughs> um, the third one is DHA. It is also found in fatty fish, fish oil, and algae. Um, DHA is a major structural component of the retina of your eye. So when you don't get enough, vision issues can arise. Account, um, DHA accounts for 40% of polyunsaturated fatty acids in your brain. By consuming omega-3s, it can promote brain health, which is always good. <laughs> um, DHA can lower triglycerides as well as reduce blood pressure and can raise good HDL cholesterol levels, which is never a bad thing. <laughs> it keeps blood platelets from clumping together, which helps with blood clots helps to prevent black, uh, plaque buildup and reduces the production of substances released during your body's inflammation response. So again, anti-inflammatory. Um, consuming omega-3s is also linked to reducing symptoms of ADHD in children. Omegas can improve task completion, decrease hyperactivity, impulsiveness, restfulness, and aggressiveness. It is also linked to improve metabolic syndrome, which is obesity or belly fat, blood pressure, and insulin resistance. Helps with autoimmune diseases such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, diabetes type 1. It is associated with lower risk of asthma in both children and young adults. It improves both bone strength by boosting the amount of calcium in your bones, which is always great, especially if, you know, you need a little bit of strength in you. <laughs> um, reduces frequency of mood swings and relapses in people with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. There's quite a few case studies on that as well. Now, if you do have lower levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which um, Mark Hyman actually has in his Ultra Mindset. Um, he has a little questionnaire that can help you figure that out as well. Um, can cause sleep problems in children and adults, lower levels. Um, cause hormone melatonin, lower level of melatonin, which helps you sleep. 
Um, sleep deprivation are tied to many diseases such as obesity, diseases, and depression. It would be good to consider eating fatty fish um, that I stated above two to four times a week. Um, they now have great wild-caught salmon packs at the store, which you can add to lunches on top of salads, roasted veggies. Um, if you're not into sardines and things like that, or, you know, cooking whole salmon fillets for yourself at home. And if that, if it's not in your budget, or if you just don't like fish, uh, you can use supplements, which is fish oil, fish oil capsules, or algae oil. I love Nordic Naturals personally, um, that's the fish supplement that I take, but feel free to shop around and find the one that works for you. Just make sure that there's not a lot of fillers um, in your product and they shouldn't give you fish burps. So if you're getting fish burps, maybe reconsider the ones that you're taking. <laughs> um, I Let's see, you can also check out healthline.com. There's an article of how much omega-3 should you eat per day for more answers um, to, you know, how much, when should I take it, how often. Um, and I also really encourage you to call your doctor or your naturopath if you have any questions or concerns about taking omega-3s or, you know, they would also have recommendations of supplements as well. Um, I hope this video helped and let me know in the comments below your thoughts or questions about today's information. Um, I will also place the resources down below in case you're interested in the full articles. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. And again, this is MC Health Life Coach and signing out.